Welcome back to another episode of This Is Us Looking In Our Face. Oh yeah. And I am going to do something really interesting. I am going to increase the volume of the bloody game. There we go. So much better. All the time, right? That basically means that I was grinding in the game, and if I was grinding in the game, then uh, there is a slight chance for me to actually get some items, right? Isn't that great? And some of those items, yeah, it's like nice to have them, right? But this is not uh, the main focus of it. Uh, the main focus is actually something really interesting. I try to farm for the Defender set uh, in order to get it onto Albedo. And I try to get four star items all the time. And I got this one, this one of a lot of free star items. Look at this. Uh, look at how many free star items I have in here. Anyway, um, every now and then you do get a four star item. For some reason, I got an awful lot of bandanas, an awful lot of uh, feathers, only two flasks. Same goes for the clocks and one and only one flower. <sighs> Uh, and I, with uh, my good old luck, right, uh, I need feathers. Uh, okay, feathers. Uh, I got four feathers, but I also need the flower. <sighs> That's just so, so iffy. Anyway, um, at least now we have this thing. And let's see. Uh, I want to upgrade those two items. Uh, I don't know if I can get a better uh, guardian flower uh, afterwards. I think I can and then I can just uh, exchange them um, but for now this one here also starts with crit damage that's what makes this thing just really amazing so uh, let's enhance this thing uh, and put all of them items in there uh, the whole idea like with uh, increasing those items right now is that yeah it's a it's something uh, that I kind of want to <laughs> present right <sighs> farming items is good and all but i also want to show the improvement process uh that goes on with it because yeah this is this is something that is sometimes even overlooked anyway um, let's uh improve this until this reaches to be honest i have no idea uh the main uh maximum level is 20 i started with like 300 and no 400 and something thousand and i would say that at 300 thousand flat i will stop putting items on it um and then i will probably skip to another item here or i could at least get it to level 16 so it has uh, the same strength as the feather that i have already and then I can improve it at later stages in the game. Um, because the thing is, this will get incredibly expensive, like 5,000 each time. Uh, that's that's nice. And oh, okay, which one is it? Is it crit damage? Please be, nah, it's crit rate. Anyway, crit rate is pretty neat. Uh, oh, no, oh. oh. Oh, totally forgot about that. <laughs> you can't improve the uh, level beyond 16 because it's only a four-star item. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> uh, right. Mm -hmm. That's also something to keep in mind. Uh, this item, or at least uh, the two-set uh, part, gives you a strength of... Uh, yeah, a an additional 30% defense. Now the question becomes 30% defense. How easily do you get 30% defense? And what would happen uh, if you have, let's say a, uh, wait a minute, uh, why can't I see this thing right now? Ah, it's, it, I was like, wait, isn't this a zero? Brain lag. Anyway, uh, I'm not quite sure which uh, feather to pick. No, it's not, it's not feather. I don't need to pick the feather. I pick the crit damage feather. That's the reason why. Um, Back to the feather part, uh, this one, uh, wait a minute, there we go, this one has a flat defense of 17, the problem with uh, starting feathers that already have three of those uh, substats is that uh, you can only have four substats and then they will randomly increase every now and then. Um, the problem here, the actual problem is that if you have three, then the chance of getting a good uh, uh 
one well won't be that high right like those two that's also pretty interesting uh so you should pick the one with the highest base values of them like look at this and this one has percentage even like what all right um yeah let's have this uh attack uh thingy also a little bit increased so oh no we don't have a one star two stars are oh wait a minute the reason why I couldn't put any two star items on it was because I just ran out of it. Uh, I ran out of levels to improve. That's the only one. What do we got? We got some elemental mastery. Sweet, sweet, sweet. The, I don't really need elemental mastery on uh, this defense item for a very, very simple reason. Uh, elemental mastery just increases my shield strength. I don't care about the shield strength. What I want is just higher damage and therefore I need the thing that scales the damage. Oh, crit damage. Look at that. That's neat. At least we got something out of it. Uh, the attack part, well, that's not quite nice. But, uh, bollocks. Um, now I have to uh, very, very carefully pick my three star items for this. I would say, yeah, the doctor set is pretty decent. Um, let's just uh, put all of the doctor thingies on there. Uh, as long as it's doctor set, everything is fine. Wow, 7,560. So I think the cost increases uh, depending on yeah, depending on the items that you put on it. So the higher the level, uh, the items, the higher the cost. Like it's 7,560 divided by six uh, should actually give you a per item uh, value you, that you have to pay there. And because yeah, the experience also will be higher. Oi, 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 oi. Always check if uh, the items are, well, special or not. Um, I should have just checked in to the doctor set here before just putting them on it because sometimes, sometimes you do get good stuff. Um, hmm. So what's the random upgrade? And we get attack, of course, attack. Ah, crit damage, crit damage, crit damage. So, uh, now back to the albedo character. And what is, oh, is artifacts? Like, ah, uh, the, uh, yeah, the annoying part about this is that I don't seem to have something that's better than this thing. Um, I need another goblet, and I don't know what goblet I could put on it. Uh, because I want to have a, well, five-star goblet. That's one thing to keep in mind. That would be great. I don't have a five-star goblet of the kind that I would like to have. And I also want to keep the uh, bonus set effect. That would be sweet as well. Ah, too bad, too bad, too bad. That's the only nice goblet that I could put on it. That would kind of make sense. Mm. All right, let's see what we can get in here. Like goblets usually have a, uh, was it the goblets or was the, or was it the, nah, okay, let's just look for the damage. Maybe we can have some geo damage on this one. Uh, <laughs> of course, geo damage is on the doctor's set. What was I saying about uh, checking, oh, of course, the script thing. Geo damage there too, geo damage too, geo damage, everything is full of geo damage. Hmm, I could put this on it. Level this up fairly quickly as well. Problem is just the numbers aren't that great. What about crit damage? Um, we got decent substat on crit. Um, but yeah, it's actually the defense that I care about most. Um, so let's see, defense percentage. Uh, we have, yeah, this is defense percentage, but this is, of course, always defense percentage. This was the crit damage one from before. Uh, yeah, there doesn't seem to be good items on there. Of course, hydro damage. Pyro damage. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah. All right. This will definitely be exchanged with another item, that's for sure. I just uh, have no idea which one I could put on there, to be honest. Mm, don't want to put attack on there. Uh, defense would be great. I could get crit dam well, crit damage would be great as well. I don't use physical attack. The only other way would be geo damage, but uh, I don't really have good geo damage items to begin with. That's the iffy part. Like all of this is just like HP and whatnot. 
Um, healing bonus is not really necessary. Uh, energy recharge, nah. Elemental mastery, not really necessary either. Then we have, of course, the flat defense, but this is only on the substats. Uh, what I really, 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 uh, let's compare. Let's see what happens. Um, we do have higher crit damage on it. That's nice. Of course, the text stays the same. The... Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, okay. But we do have slightly higher crit on it. Ah, oh, come on. 17. Ah, uh, I didn't really get lucky with this one, did I? Anyway, uh, let's switch to this. And the next one was, as I said, the flower. Uh, da -da -da -da. We have crit rate of 2.8. Eight crit damage there defense nine point okay the scholar's bookmark actually got me decent uh defense values as well and also flat defense oh 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 oh, oh. um hmm. what about the feather again um yeah no this is uh, another 17 flat Ay, 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 ay. Because I'm losing 9.9 .9 defense uh, values on there. And I only gain, well, some, some crit damage, 6 point something percent. Hmm. As long as I crit, everything will be fine, I hope. Uh, but I also just gain the passive on there. And this is the most important bit. So, uh, let's switch to this flower. And also maybe, uh, let's... How, how do I get out of the... Ah, there we go. Get out of this comparison window. Mm, how much difference do I have? 700 something. 1,007... Wait, wait. 1,722. Mm, nah, it's actually not that much. So, let's see. What I need now is another set effect. Um, I just don't know where to put that and which one to use. Uh, I could get, yeah, I could exchange either this one here, which is the crit damage, uh, or this one with the defense. <laughs> of course, the defense is valuable, so we have to take it pretty much. But on the other hand, do I have one of those five star, uh, the good five star items on hand already? I don't think so. Yeah, I only have the four star item, this one. Ah, uh, bollocks. What about the goblin? I don't. Like the... Where are the... F what? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. uh, okay. Um. What I need to look for is the agate uh, set right now. Archaic Petra. That's the one. Uh, I have this one, I have that one, I have also this one. 15% uh, geo damage bonus. Don't want to level this up just to get nothing in return. Uh, and uh, I don't have the goblin, and both of those are only uh, level 4, so taking them would not be that wise. Um, let's see, could I maybe get a nice substat in there? That's useful. A nice substat, uh, a nice substat that also maybe even improves my defense, but I think there's only one defense bonus in there. Okay, uh, let's look for crit damage. Crit damage, crit damage, crit damage. This is uh, as a substat. Substat, that's defense. Okay, wait a minute. Um, This one won't give you... Ah, this was the magical one. Uh, energy recharge and um, uh, uh, elemental mastery. Something like that. So this is the elemental thing. And then it also had some other uh, speedy uh, values there, I believe. Um, I just don't know which ones there are. Like, uh, there's, uh, there's some HP. Maybe there's some healing bonus on it. Uh, nope, that's not. <sighs> What's so special about those things? Uh, don't get special damage for it. The, yeah, elemental mastery, energy recharge. This is the only good part about it. The rest, you don't really, yeah, shouldn't really care about it. 
Uh, yeah, we need the defense, as I said, so let's keep this one. Um, so I have two other items that I could switch around a little. Uh, it's probably the crown that I have to take, isn't it? Hmm. Goblet and crown. Uh, if I could just put... Uh, power damage, elemental burst damage using an burst increase or party members attack by zone so much. That could be useful as well, but this is a pyro damage boost. No. Ah, uh, come on. I don't want attack. Uh, what I want is basically another uh, set effect. That would be so sweet. Mm. No. This, this is always just pyro risk. Nah, what about crit rate? Increases elemental mastery. Nope. Pyro damage. Nope. Uh, nope. No, 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 no. Uh, let's get all of them sought by quality. There we go. Hmm. Increases shield strength by so and so much. Here, yeah, well, protected by a shield. Uh, again, additional 40% normal attack try. No. I got to be kidding me. So, can't there just be some kind of boost that I could. That, come on, there has to be something. Increases normal and charge attack now after using elemental skill. Increases normal uh, charge attack damage by da 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 da. No. Attack uh, increases crit charge attack. No. I am. Um, yeah, there doesn't seem to be any good stuff in there, is there? We can sort it by quality. The good stuff is up here anyway. Hmm. Come on. I'm looking for a two-set effect that is useful. What I see here is just... Well, with one exception, uh, the 15% geo damage bonus. But then I would need to level this up again. Uh, actually, I have to uh, level this up either way. So... That's the easy part. Mm. You think about using in the burst? Nope. Uh, come on, where could I? Or what could I use? Um. <sighs> crit rate. Yeah, I could use the twelve percent crit rate on it. That would give me somewhat of an edge, I believe. What else we got? Crit da No, wait a minute. Crit damage. Yeah, crit damage. Not crit rate, but crit damage. Uh, but this one also is damage against opponents with more than... Hmm, nope. The 4 piece set effect can't be utilized in here. What's the one that I have at the moment? Crit damage. Okay. So if I uh, lose crit damage, then I have to exchange it with another crit damage item. So it would be nice to have one at least. Hmm. No. No. Whoa. There really aren't that many crit damage items in there. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Unbelievable. I could get the circler in there. Oh, it also has crit rate. That's pretty sweet. And I would uh, be able to get the exiles effect again. Okay. At least we got something good. At least we got something good. Hmm. Energy recharge. Ah, hmm. It's 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 nice, but it's also not so useful. <laughs> hmm. And this one needs defense percentage. Otherwise, it makes no sense. Uh, this one is defense percentage. What could I get? Was it this one? Yeah. Uh, no. Hmm. The fifteen percent geo damage bonus might be useful. Might also be a bit of pain. Ugh. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, uh, mm. and a thirty-five percent damage bonus for that particular element. Mm.
Hmm, having a crit rate would actually be pretty sweet. Ah, uh, but I don't like not having... Oh, uh, yeah, losing out on that. So, defense percentage... Huh. Ah, come on. Ah, an elemental mastery, you gotta be kidding me. That's nothing. Hmm. This one at least starts with crit damage. That's pretty sweet. This one also has additional defense on there. Hmm. Uh, but I could just... Yeah, I could... <sighs> Wait a minute. Sundial of... That's the clock. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I can only have one other uh, set effect, but... I don't know if like 15% geo damage bonus would actually change that much, but... Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. At least this one has crit, right? Yeah, let's try that. Uh, oh no, let's don't try that. Oh, I need the crit damage on this thing. I, w I just wanted to use the uh, set effect on this, uh, but then I would lose item the crit damage on that. Oh, that is just such a pain. It really is difficult to uh, get these specific items that you need. Uh, it's not that easy. Absolutely not that easy. Yeah, uh, that's the only other crit damage that there is. What else we got? Um, This one was the... Yeah, the hourglass is magical, and this one was the damage portion. Uh, do we, I have any geo? No, this is the only geo damage bonus. But look at this. Uh, it's at 5.2% already. Uh, I don't know what I should take. Like, additional defense or geo damage bonus? Because at some point that thing might be really useful, but I would say this starts happening at like higher levels and stuff. What about this one? Geo damage. Hmm. I could also uh, trigger the set effect on there, but I would again lose out on the defense. That wouldn't be great. Another defense bonus. Hmm. <sighs> Why must those items be so iffy to choose from? So absolutely iffy. Uh, all right. Looks as if uh, this will be the only set effect that will be uh, used on him. I have to check this out in a fight real quick. Uh, I'm not sure how much damage I'm going to do, but let's try out a... Uh, well, yeah, uh, a big kind of enemy that is really close by. Let's try this ruin, uh, ruin guard thingy. Uh, that should be over there. What's this? Ah, it's been so and so much more, isn't it? Yes. Do 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 do. 
Not that many things to do, just some ley lines. Bosses haven't been defeated yet. Um, but yeah, actually, the next boss might be the Geo Hypostasis. Right, no, wait a minute. Can I uh, get like five star items with the Geo Hypostasis? I don't know. Wait a minute, how much damage do I do if I, uh, if I hit them? Wait a minute. Ooh. So right, 2,000. Nah, 6,500. It's a, it's a lot, but to be honest, it could be much, 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 much higher. But if I get uh, additional 15%, right, then uh, I would get 600 additional damage. All right. And how would the 30% uh, defense actually come into place here? Because what I have to do uh, is I have to look at the base value, and then on top of the base value, I can calculate the additional defense that I would get. Mm. Like, okay, 7,000 against the Rune Guard is pretty decent. But on the other hand, the Wound Guard is also just level 66. Come on. Double over. Perfect. Now, what about the Lava Curl, dude? Uh, let's see how much damage we can do there. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I should look at his numbers real quick. Yeah. Uh, the base defense is 773, uh, which is the character and the weapon. And we get an additional 949 of that. Um, and roughly calculated 30% is 200 and a little bit, 230-ish, 230 and, uh, 230 and 20, 270. Um, yeah, I think 270 might be almost there. 270 times 3 makes 600 and 721. No, it's a little bit more than that. Uh, 80, maybe. No. Yeah. 80 something, a little bit more than 80. Um, anyway, the defense bonus of 30% is 280. Now, how would a 15% damage boost uh, work with this? Because 280 mm, isn't that much, isn't it? Mm. It just increases damage by 280. Uh, what about his talents? I need the scaling of it. 280. Uh, it's 187% defense, and then there's also the chance to crit with this thing. And, oh, wait a minute. The crit values are a little bit higher, aren't they? Yeah, before they were at 140-something, uh, and now they are at 154%. Uh, the crit rate is like if yeah if the other attack basically I'm not quite sure if 30 percent on the uh, uh, on, on the set effect actually do make that much of a difference holy shit what's this 8000 just now i think it was an 800 more or less bollocks now I'm not critting as much anymore. Um, I'm only doing like a thousand. That's definitely not what I want. Yeah, okay, two thousand something. This is somewhat resistant to it, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely didn't get much more defense out of that, so... And we didn't lose out uh, on that much damage, it's basically just some uh, regeneration. And I don't really care that much about his ultimate, because... That's uh, not what we need. It could also be that this character is just extremely tanky, that's why I don't really feel the uh, damage numbers on it. Of course, this one is also immune to... Geo damage, I'm just... Look at this. Oh, it's so annoying. Geo damage. Whoa! 
Lucky 157 damage. Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. Oh, wait, there's also another item. Totally forgot about that. It's probably one of those lantern right thingies. Uh, I guess so. Alright. I need to figure out how much damage I get there. How much is that? Wait a minute. 1,700. Uh, 1,700 is uh, 16,600. Uh, yeah, 16, uh, 600, uh, 15,600. Okay. I still have the additional crit on it. Like sometimes I dish out like tons of damage. Yeah, like seven thousand. Oh, okay. I don't know why, but sometimes you can do the extreme high crit and sometimes not. I would say that the two thousand ish damage is actually the normal portion of it, and every time I do like six thousand of that, uh, I'm doing that much more damage. So wait a minute. Hmm. If I would crit, then the crit damage actually gets applied, and the crit damage is uh, one hundred, no, two hundred and fifty percent actually. Um, so it's the normal damage plus the one hundred fifty percent. So we do already deal dish out, let's say, uh, two thousand damage ish, uh, maybe some sometimes three thousand. No, that would be that would be nine thousand damage. No, I don't. Roughly nine thousand damage. Mm, so yeah, let's say uh, we deal two thousand five hundred damage. Roughly, I wouldn't really say that this is correct. Two thousand five hundred damage. That's a bit less. But yeah, they uh, also have resistances. Uh, the enemies. So maybe this also gets uh, counted in. So let's say we deal two thousand and uh, five hundred damage with uh, resistances and everything. Uh, therefore, the enemy would de get a crit of how much? Uh, 2 5 times. Oh, plus 150. Uh, half of this is 127, 370 something. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, 5,000. Yeah, roughly 6,200 and something. So we are also more correct. <laughs> oh, that is just that, that is brutal. The occasional crit is what makes this thing just so great. But if I could, yeah, uh, because the crit rate, or no, no, not the crit, because the crit damage is actually so high, that means. I would be well advised to uh, to increase the uh, the crit rate on him, um, just so I can utilize the additional damage, because it has to happen, uh, and flowers can't be triggered all the time. Therefore, having a higher safe yeah safety damage would be pretty decent too. <laughs> Four thousand, yeah. To three, oh, six thousand. Oh, that is so. That is so brutal. Interesting. Twice uh, we did damage. Oh uh, my! Six thousand six hundred and nine. It's pretty neat. So that means that the damage itself is always the same, and it al it's always is cr uh, calculated the same. And there is no randomness factor uh, because sometimes in games you have a minimum damage value and a maximum damage value uh, and uh, in between there is a certain randomizer increasing or decreasing the damage and after that there is uh, the crit probability that gets applied but this is not always the case anyway mm, what i also have to do is i have to increase of course some levels and the like uh albedo is Leveled up to the max. Yeah, Elbido is ascended and his weapon is also uh, leveled up and everything. Mm, yep, 
so the only one that needs some love right now is of course him Kaya uh and also really interesting um him I need to level this dude up too but in order to do so I need to not just enhance the weapon uh I need to ascend him but the good part about this can I I can't click on it in order to get to the righteous vine but I can finally see it on the map that's good that means I can farm it and I can also be less affected by pyro if I needed to but what I have to do too is uh, I have to get a yeah I have to get rid of all those markers in between this is this was the actual first part that I uh, wanted to do it's uh, not doing some damage numbers or whatever anyhow um hmm Let's just quickly look at the numbers again. Um, what about this one? Crit damage, 42.7. It's so much bloody damage. Also the crit. Can I utilize... I just want to utilize this one, but it's scaling with attack. Oh, wait a minute. Mm, I also got this one here. The Skyrider Sword. Um, that means I can refine this. Totally forgot about that. Using elemental burst grants. Da -da -da -da, increase attack and movement speed. That's pretty sweet. It's actually a really good item for Kaya as well, because he can use his ultimate fairly often. And he also benefits from a boost of attack speed and also movement speed, because he needs to get towards the enemies uh, or away from them because he's melee. Therefore, he needs to reposition himself. Because, but if you are like a long range uh, character, then... Uh, your mobility is not that necessary because there's always some little uh some, some kind of buffer between you and the enemy so and what about this one then the dark iron sword that's something that i also kind of got i don't nothing um what does this one do upon causing an overloaded a superconduct electro charge or an electro infused swirl reaction uh, attack is increased by 20% for 12 seconds. So this is basically the same thing. Looks the same. Uh, huh. 21% mm, increase in damage. Interesting. And this is for 12 seconds. This is for 15 seconds. But the 15 seconds are always the same. Same goes for the 12 seconds. The difference here is this one gives you energy recharge. So you can trigger the elemental burst more often. This one gives you elemental mastery in order to utilize the interaction uh, between two different elements. There's this one problem. Uh, this thing does not boost your crit rate. Mm, it only boosts your attack by 20% and that's it. But at least this value can be increased a little bit. Hmm. Which is kind of interesting though. Because this one doesn't seem as good as this one. Like this, uh, wow. At level one, this one has higher base attack uh, than this one. This one ha already has a pretty decent uh, buff there as well. Like that's weird. <gasps> that was weird. Ah, this one is again another attack sword. This is our hmm, Skyrider sword. And then there's this one. Crit hits have a 6 man chance of generating a small amount of... Mm -hmm. Six energy for the character. Can only occur once. Th 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 I need something that does damage. Anyway. Um, uh, I want to use this sword so bloody much. Just because it has such a cool effect. Uh, but the physical damage bonus 28%. Oh, come on. And also this one, attack bonus and defense bonus, like everything gets better. And also the base attack can increase by a ton. Oh, all right, mm, I could lift this up. Uh, what about this one though? Do I need, yeah, uh, I need the same kind of items, just more of them. Uh, hmm, two of those balls and one of those stim pack thingies. Hmm. The problem about this uh, weapon is just that you can't really rely on it uh, because 11 seconds are pretty damn long. This is like for the occasional uh, character that gets spawned on the field. Like if you have a, 
a support character in your squad that supports by having high amounts of attack and not just defense like Elbedo. So yeah, a different scaler. And every now and then he gets uh, put on the field and that's it. Because the, uh, yeah, the support has to be good enough, that's one thing. But if you want to use an, an, uh, another character, then hmm, the, the weapon type might be more important than this. Wasn't there a sunk uh, platform somewhere over there? I don't know. Like this thing is marking something. What is it? Uh, totem and oh, there's a yeah, there's a totem in the water. I thought that was some kind of sunken platform. Oh, wow. There it is. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's trigger this totem. But only after we got the Ruin Hunter triggered. <laughs> that was, I don't know, really quick. So, uh, wasn't it? Yeah, you just can't see it because of the reflection. Look at this. Uh, when you look at it from here, you can't really see it. You can only see it if you ha already know where it is. Uh, that's just a question. What kind of element is this? I don't know what element this is supposed to be. It could be anything. Uh, it could be stone. Could be could be water. Could be wind. It's probably not fire because fire is not working. Uh, it could be ah okay. Let's use. Yeah, that was a bit stupid. Uh, let's get a little bit closer. Maybe I can uh, like as close as we can. There we go. Uh. It might not be a uh, geo. No, it's not, it's not geo. That's for sure. So it must be another item, uh, another another thingy. Uh, bollocks. Okay. Um. How do I trigger this? Because oh no, I can't switch characters when I'm in water. There we go. He's the tallest, he should... Okay, and I also can't trigger this. Hmm... Okay, I should do something different. It, it could also be an uh, animal, I think. Come on... Nah, that's not it. It could be animal. Alright, uh, let's try a different party. Could also just be Electra, though. I just don't know. Uh, what about Sucrose? That. No. Maybe a little bit further. No, uh, it's too far. That doesn't really look like it. Alright. So, let's see if this is it. Nah. Okay, what if, what if I just... Yeah, that was just great. That was absolutely great. I don't know how you would trigger this thing. Maybe there's a way to lower the amount of water that's in there. Oh, come on! As soon as this hits the grind, it's done for. And also, as soon as I hit the water with it, it's done as well. Something is off. Maybe I have uh, used it already. I don't know. Uh, it has the same distance. Uh, 
The thing is, it gets thrown from her hip. That means if you stand in the water a little too much. Uh, we're getting closer. Let's see. I don't know if fire triggers it. Yeah, I think, again, I will... Yeah, I will hit the water and nothing will happen. That's just the... So iffy. Hmm. I also just can't stand on it. That's the... Another iffy thing. I don't know its element. Uh... Could I infer it somehow? Like... Nah. Uh... Wait, what was... It could also be water. Uh, I don't know what color this is. It could be animal, it could be water. Uh, yeah, it could be anything. That means I have to get really, really close to it. I don't know if I... Come on. No, it's too far. Oh, come on. Nah. Alright, uh, let's try something different. Only is it that I don't know what kind of element this is supposed to be. Mm. What I need is chaos. Uh, yeah. So now we have this, then. What I can do is uh, utilize her ability from up here, but nope, nothing really happens. Uh, hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's not that much else to do here. Like, it's not fire. It's a shield thing. So, it could also just be uh, Geo. And I just didn't manage to trigger this properly. Who knows? Ah, how do you use this totem? Or this, or this can just be decoration and has no other use other than that, right? But it, it nah, it can't be. Come on. Nah. What the? Uh, it's definitely not earth it's also not fire or at least i think it's not fire let's uh, get a little closer again just in case oh uh, yep that's 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 pretty much next to it so if it burns it burns New. All right. Um, what about yeah, uh, lightning? Um, I tried to do lightning, but lightning did not work. That means I have to use lightning ability that goes straight into the water. Lisa has a ball thingy, and what about her? Switch? Oh no! Wait. I also have to deploy it, of course. It's actually just easier to switch the party that you have selected. Hmm. Uh, let's get rid of her. Actually, yeah. Uh, official will be... Wait a minute. And... Whoop, bum, bum, bam. And she will be exchanged with these uh, characters that... Oh. Oh. Yeah, that can happen too. <laughs> Uh, oh, come on. I'm, I need to deploy the squad every time. So, deploy. Uh, hmm. Now, the question is, will this bird 
follow me and attack this totem or will it do nothing and it will do nothing because nothing happened uh, I need to I need to resurrect her first you gotta be kidding me come on so let's use no of course that's it's not really working okay let's get back into the squad selection it might just be water who knows Let's just keep that thingy there. Uh, also, I can get rid of this uh, rune hunter thing, rune guard thing. Uh, the meta curls, let's keep them just for now. And yeah, what else do we have? Not that much to do. Not that much. Oh, I can get some uh, I miss flowers from up there too. Hmm. But yeah, this is definitely uh, going to be defeated next. Um, just so I can yeah play with Bennett. Get another support in there, and then I have to figure out what to do up here. Oh, what's this one? Stuff. Uh, don't know what this stuff is supposed. To oh yeah, the golden birds. Mmm, the golden birds. Totally forgot about that. All right. This was an interesting episode. It was basically just damaging uh, things, trying to uh, level up characters and the like. Um. Now, what about the characters that are supposed to get healed up? Okay, so she's alive. The character is dying. It's pretty much not dying. There we have one of those birds. Let's take this one then. All right. So let's start from here in the next episode. And then we can finally uh, figure out what these birds are supposed to do. The land like and subscribe, of course. That's her.